I remember being on my job with no possibility of a future. And I will never forget the moment that a man walked up to me and looked me in my eyes and told me that this was the best I would be able to do. And I came to the resolve in that very moment that greatness would be my new norm. What he said to me hit me hard. It was a metaphoric, massive blow to my face. But like a wise man once said, you gotta pick your head up like your nose is bleeding. And right where they left you for dead, elevate where he told me I would retire from, that this was the end of the line. I came to the resolve that I would not believe the lie. I could hear it in the air that the voice of destiny would reside in the place where he wanted me to die. I made the decision to fight for my future. You will not pause. You will progress. You will not expire. You will evolve. You will not crumble in the midst of crises. You may be neck deep in what seems to be a catastrophic storm of chaos, but I pray that in this moment, you will find the calm, the peace, the hope, the faith, the courage, the expectancy you need to live and not die. To move up and not stay where you are. You get what you see. And that is the formula for expectancy. Your expectation is what you believe is about to happen. And for many of you, you have been so traumatized by the past that your expectations are so diminished your expectations have been dying a slow death because of the trauma of the past you expect nothing and so you feel like if I don't expect anything then you can't hurt me if I have no expectation on you then you cannot disappoint me if you are going to win the fight for the future you are going to have to have a high expectation it was Kobe Bryant that said everything negative, pressure, and challenges is all an opportunity for me to rise. It's crises that reveals what we are comprised of. And I ask you the question, are you praying the darkness away or are you becoming the highest version of yourself in the midst of the darkness? You know, when you find yourself standing in the middle of trial, tribulation, scarcity, and uncertainty. There is a process from flapping to flight. How you process pain will determine your future. I need you to fight for the future. Let that sink in for a minute. You are not your crises. You are not what you are going through. What are you expecting the outcome to be? Because you can't change what has happened. However, you can change what will happen. Your responsibility is once you've gone from flapping to flight is to protect your progress to protect your territory. You gotta get a real boss-like mentality with your territory. All the ground that you gain, protect your territory. I ask you the question, when are you going to stop thinking that you are what you are going through? When we step into elevation and we get that, what I like to call that bird's eye view, we gain a greater perspective when we zoom out. And too many of you are guilty of becoming what you are going through. You are not what you are going through. See, in the game of life, those who have an elevated perspective will inherit the future. And it is time for you to fight for your future. How bad do you want the future? I want you to let that question sink in. 
Because the day you stop quacking with ducks and start flying with the eagles, all of a sudden, everything changes. But you know, for many of you, you are addicted to the company of the duck. I need you to scrupulously examine the landscape of your relationships. Because if nobody told you, let me be the first one to tell you, separation precedes elevation. It's a lot of people in your life that are holding you down, that are holding you back. There are some people you are going to have to let go of in order to elevate above the noise, above the dysfunction, to be a light shining brilliantly through the darkness, above the uncertainty, high above all murky waters, beyond the pain of the test and trial. Elevated people will always ask themselves, what did I learn in the midst of it all? King David said in Psalms 119.71, it was good for me that I had been afflicted, that I might learn thy statues. And when you're stepping in this space, in this realm, in this world of elevation, you are not asking God, why am I in pain? You are asking God, what am I getting ready to become? With high expectation, elevated people will ask themselves, what am I getting ready to become? And what will I learn in the midst of this? While the world is in panic, while the world is perturbed, while the world is puzzled, you pray and plan your next move. Don't fear the dark. Ask yourself, what did you learn in it? Adversity is our advantage. Decide to come out of this better. Find yourself in this elevated place. Everybody wants it. We want promotion. We want the upgrade. We want advancement. We want to move up. We want to have a competitive advantage in the marketplace. My attention has been arrested by the conversation of the bird. You know, oftentimes learning to fly means falling from the nest and making that long trip back to it. Some birds never make it back to the top, but for the ones that do, once they learn to spread their wings, the game changes. Once they learn to start to spread their wings and then they begin to flap those wings, then all of a sudden their life goes to that next level. And I think a lot of you are stuck 
You've spread your wings, but you're afraid to flap them because you're worried about what people are gonna say about you. Baby bird don't care what anybody says about what it looks like in its process because process precedes the breakthrough. There is something that is burning inside of us to go to the next level to see this one thing that I'm about to bring to your attention. And if you're going to see it, if you're going to see breakthrough, then you are going to have to be okay with the process that is required. The preceding action and thoughts that are required to see this breakthrough. The baby bird spreads its wings, then it flaps its wings. And it flaps and flaps and flaps until the flapping becomes flight. And a lot of you are in this season called flapping. And you're like, man, this isn't flying. And you're looking at everybody and you're comparing yourself to everybody that's flying and you're diminishing your process. You're diminishing your flapping season. Get through your flapping season with grace and faith. See, faith is an invitation to the future. Faith is the door. It is the pathway. It is the corridor to the future. And if you are going to fight for the future, you've got to fight with faith. Get through your flapping season. Get through your flapping season. I know you've got tears in your eyes, but get through your flapping season and fight for flight. Because eventually, the flapping turns in to flight.